Gerald Ross here, and I'm going to do a review today. I, uh, this is a little bit different. I usually do ukulele videos, but today I'm going to do a review of this Ohana OBU-22. That is the model number, Ohana OBU-22 ukulele bass. Uh, the Ohana people sent this to me. Thank you very much. It's a beautiful instrument. I'm having a great time playing it. Uh, and it's something a little different about this as opposed to other ukulele basses you may see on the market. It actually uses metal strings. It uses metal bass strings. So if you are a bass player used to playing a traditional electric bass, you will feel very at home on this instrument. It's got a gloss finish, a beautiful, flawless gloss finish, a solid spruce top. It's got a mahogany sides and back. And take a look at that back. I don't know if you can see it in the light there, but it's got an arched back on it. It's very nice uh, looking. It feels good against your body, too, to hold that. Uh, it's got the fretwork on it. The fretwork on it is quite amazing. Uh, if you look at it, it's a beautiful. It's no sharp edges. It's, the frets are just finished very nice on the edges and on the tops, polished beautifully, set into the neck perfectly. Uh, another thing that it has on it uh, that comes with it is the Fishman Precis Plus uh, bass pickup. It has a built-in tuner, the bass control, a middle control, middle, and treble. So for the three EQs, you have bass, middle, and treble. It's got a notch filter, which helps if, uh, for feedback. It's got a brilliance control, which according to the Fishman people, uh, the brilliance control is a slider that can add shimmer and sparkle to your sound. It zeroes in on crisp, high-frequency tones, the realm of harmonics and string sound. Lower the Brilliance slider to reduce finger noise and fret buzz. The bass comes with a very nice padded gig bag. Uh, and the nice thing about the padded gig bag, it has a big accessory pocket on the outside, and it also has backpack straps. A lot of uh, gig bags come with a single strap. This one comes with two backpack straps on the back, which is very nice for, for when you're traveling. It frees up both of your hands. Uh, many times when you just have one strap, you're holding on with the strap and you have to use one of your hands to balance the instrument. Not so with the Ohana gig bag. It's uh, very well made. This bass is also good uh, unplugged. Uh, you may be wondering what the tone sounds like unplugged. Uh, many uh, ukulele basses really don't have much of a sound when you unplug them. This one sounds quite nice unplugged and it's very good to use during a uh, rehearsal or during practice sessions. Uh, a couple weeks ago at a uh, festival I had to quickly learn a song. I was playing bass on a song. I had to quickly learn it. So I just grabbed this bass went backstage and learned the song without even plugging in. Well anyway, well this, this is what it sounds like, unplugged. Ohana makes three different models of this bass. This is the Ohana OBU-22. It's the uh, ukulele bass with real frets, real metal frets. Uh, they also have a fretless model, and they also make one uh, fretless model which just has uh, indicator lines across, uh, fret line markers across the uh, fingerboard. So let's play a little bit more. You get a chance to see what it sounds like. So that's the Ohana OBU-22 bass. Uh, in my opinion, Ohana has really hit a home run with this one. It's fun to play. It's nice to look at. It's small enough to fit in the overhead of an airplane when you fly. This is just a fantastic instrument, and I think you're really going to like it. 